Another miserable day, nice. Val, can you go out and get groceries again? I literally hate my life. Yeah, sure. Hold on. Might as well get it over with so I can go back to sleep. Hey you, white haired boy. Yes. What's your name? Valian, but I go by Val. Perfect. The prince has sent us here to take you to the royal palace. Hold on, for what? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Is this who you wanted? Yes. You may leave now. What am I doing here? You're going to be my prince. Huh? But, I'm not gay. Don't worry, that won't be a problem, Val. Anyways, you need a new outfit. Your new room is on the third floor and your clothes are on the bed. But what about my mom? We'll inform your family members about it. And they'll have an option to visit you whenever. Alright. It feels kind of stiff. I guess, it's okay, but I don't like it. I wonder if I can do anything else while I'm here. Wait, hold on. So you're the prince's boyfriend? Seems like it. I don't know why specifically me though. It's, well, kind of weird. I wouldn't say he's my boyfriend yet. But he does allow people to visit. So if you wish you can choose to. Alright. I'll be sure to remember that. I miss you a lot though. Stay safe for me please. And don't get into any trouble sir. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'll try my best. All right. Well, by since I have to drop off your sister. Bye, mum. Valian, right. Uh, yay? Why are you asking? Just wanted to make sure I remembered. Your name is quite rare. Mind if I call you Val instead? Sure, I get called that anyways. Also, what about your name? Alexander, but you can call me Xander, or Alex to make it faster. Uh, okay. Would you like to go out later today? Why is he asking so early? We practically just met. Uh, sure, I suppose. All right, I'll let you get ready. Be at the stairway when you're finished. He's taking a while. What if he just tricked me? No, oh, no. Don't overthink. He's probably just busy. Didn't know you could get paranoid so easily, Val. I'm sorry. I just don't want to lose someone I just met. Val, don't feel like you're forced to not worry about me. Ever. I want you to make it a reason I chose you to be my prince. Make it happen, please. I really do care about you. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Now let's go, I have a reserved spot for us at the restaurant. Man, the stupid clouds are blocking the sun. Oh, you like sunsets? I love them, it brings back a lot of memories. Glad they do, I want you to be happy. Why is he holding me so close, holy shit. Ah, uh, well ah, uh, UHM, I'm glad why you understand. Jesus, God help me, I don't know what to do. You okay? I can let go if you want. I if you want? Haha. <laughs> I'll stay then. Damn, I thought he would let go. I'll have you to myself soon, Valian. Just need to get rid of that stupid boyfriend of yours. I promise I'll treat you better, better than Alexander treated his last boyfriend. What was that? Okay, I'm kind of scared to go check it out. Okay, screw it, IG. A note? Hello, this is Alex. I've left this here because I'm out busy. 
I left a pink drink in the fridge. Feel free to enjoy it. Pink drink? That's kind of odd. It's also pretty random. What would he be doing at four in the morning? Nothing, love. Now good night. Dumbass, I didn't tell you to shoot him. What if he's dead? We're screwed. My bad. But relax, his heart is still beating. We can just bandage him up. He'll be out for a while anyways. Ah, oh, fine. Just hurry up since I don't know if Alexander is awake. Ha! Huh. Wait, what the hell? Where am I? Basement Val. I'm keeping you here for your safety. Alexander isn't the one for you. What do you mean? I'm supposed to be dating him. He's treated me great. You barely even know him, Val. He's just changed a lot. You were also forced into that relationship, weren't you? Yes, actually. But what does that have to do with you kidnapping me? To tell you the truth about how Alex really is. He's not your typical Prince Charming. He's abused and used all his past boyfriends and girlfriends. You're just another one of his toys. I'm his brother. And I've seen it all happen. Slowly but surely. Why you're not lying to me, are you? No, believe it, it's been happening for a while. It's just that everyone is scared to do something about it. Okay then, where are you? I'll show you later love. For now you're free to roam around the house. I have to make a phone call. Alright, I guess. Would Alex really do that dot dot question mark dot IT is true I just met him. But I also just met this guy too. It's too quick to assume. I'll ask more about it. Dude, really? Are you insane? Bitch, no. You've got yourself to blame. You literally fucking kidnapped someone. Just because of your obsession with him. Not sure I'm the one to blame if you're the one. Who committed the crime in return? Hard-headed asshole. Why do you think I kicked you out? 1. You framed me. And 2. I already told him about what you've been doing to everyone you date. I'm sure your little BF hates you now. Oh, so you're lying to him now. You know, lying doesn't always work, and kidnapping won't either. Plus you fucking shot him. Why I framed you? Because you'd abuse your damn power for things you wanted your way. Now all because of you. He probably fucking does hate me. This is exactly what I've been talking about. No use yelling at me now. I've already convinced him well enough. Now if you want him back, you have to hand over your position. Fuck yourself, Alan. You know, I probably should vet something at the restaurant. Sorry, love, the call took a while. You need anything? Oh, yeah. Can I borrow your phone really quick? Of course. Passcode is 6382. Thank you, dear. Deep dear. OFC. I appreciate it. Does he like me already? This might be easier than I thought. Maybe I can get him to drink that love potion I made for him earlier. Geez, the service sucks, but this is the only place he wouldn't come into. What do you want? Finally, you fucking answered. Anyways, I need you to answer something. Wait, Valian. Yes, me. I have the kidnapper's phone. But that's not what I wanted to ask nor tell you. Is it true that you've been abusive to your past daters and nobody has said anything about it? 1. No, that's just a stupid lie my brother made up to make me look bad, so he could have you for himself. And 2. Why would nobody say anything about me being abusive? I'm sure someone would have at least said something. Good point, that did sound a bit unbelievable. Thank god I chose you. At least you're smart and someone I can trust. Haha, <laughs> glad I can help but how do I get out of here? Okay, I'll make a deal with him to bring you back. But, he obviously, won't sit fairly with the terms I have for him. So whatever he has you do. Pretend to do it until we meet up again. But for now, hand him the phone so we can start our plan. Got it. Why did I have to wake up to a headache? I'm guessing they're arguing over the terms. I really don't care anymore, I just want to leave. It's about time to end this stupid, problematic kidnapping. 
I just want to be alone with Alex. So what's it going to be? Either give up your place as prince and keep him, or I keep him permanently. Now why would I listen to you? Don't forget that I have your precious little boyfriend hostage. He won't even cooperate with you. Stop trying to ruin a relationship with everyone I like. Okay, then we'll double check with him. Valian. You love me, right? Of course. See, I told you. Is what I would have said if I had drank that potion. Wait, what? You're stupid to think I'd like someone who, one, kidnapped me, and two, taking me away from someone I love. Now, instead of being desperate for a boy, go pull your own bitches, then go talk to a cereal box because your dad forgot to bring back the milk. Damn. He deserves it, don't worry. I know that, but, though, why are you so close? Thanks. I guess. I'm sorry, everything's been a bit crazy. We should probably get back home. My mom is gonna kill me if I'm not back by nine. Well, we have to hurry then, come on. Who the hell locked the window? And he fell asleep too. I guess we have to sleep outside. Wait, the door's open. Alexander, wake up. How? Oh. What is it? The door opened. We can go inside. Yes, finally, it's cold out here. Hey, Aval. Can I talk to you? Just for like a minute? Sure. What is it? So, what was, uh, yesterday about? You mean when I... Yes, that. You only said everything was going crazy. Not that I didn't enjoy it or anything. But it seems unusual for someone to do that under stress, I guess. I just had a headache that day, so that and stress don't go well together. After all this, I should probably say sorry, you know, for forcing you to date me and all. I'll make it up to you. Alright, whatever you want, 